Have you ever seen the huge selection of vacuum cleaners out there and wondered, which one is best for me? Or have you been vacuuming and moved your furniture out of the way and then those horrible indentations in your carpet? Hi, I'm Simone James, and here with me today is our flooring expert, Bridget Spencer. Welcome, Bridget. Happy to be here. Now, we all absolutely hate cleaning our carpets. I know I do. Now, convince me why we should. Well, one, thorough cleaning actually extends the life of your carpet. Little did we know that ground and soil can actually hurt the carpet fibers. Uh, two, it gives the room a fresh, clean look, and it can keep it from smelling bad. Well, now that we know why it's important to clean our carpets, let's talk about the basics. Well, I would suggest that you vacuum weekly uh, to elongate the life of the carpet. And please, just hire professionals once every two years to get that really deep clean. I mean, remember, your carpets can never be too clean. Oh, now <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Do you have any other tips for us? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, the floor runners, or uh, the mats that you see, those are great for not tracking in the soil in the first place. Or the mats that you put under the wheels for the rolly chairs are great for keeping that soil from being ground into the carpeting. Hmm, that's interesting to know. <laughs> Let's get back to the basics again. There are so many vacuum cleaners out there. How do you choose the best one? Well. Here's my suggestion. I would get one with dual motors. This one has one for suction and one with a beater bar that actually lifts the dirt out of the carpeting. If you're going to get a standing vacuum, I would suggest getting one with a top loading bag instead of a bottom loading bag, just because it's easier. And then thirdly, make sure that you get one with the correct height adjustments for all of the carpeting in your home. <laughs> oh yes, that is so important. It is. Great, Bridget. Now, do you have any other unexpected tips for us today? <laughs> You're gonna love this one. You know the pesky indentations that you get in carpeting? Don't I know it. They are the bane of my existence. Well, that and teaching my kids to respect my carpets. Oh, well this is much easier. Just take an ice cube and put it in the indentation. By the time it's done drying, the indentation will be gone. Huh, <laughs> kind of like a bad date? Yeah, it's <laughs> so true. <laughs> Great, thank you so much for joining us today, Bridget, and for all the wonderful carpet cleaning tips. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and we will see you next time.